Since you are busy and you don't have enough time to prepare ideas for the latest cue cards, let me do it for you so you don't have to. Let us study the latest cue cards and let's talk about different ideas so that you can be more than ready to take the IELTS speaking test. Let's get started. Our first cue card here is a good advertisement that you think is useful. I want you to identify what ad are you going to talk about. Is it infomercial, educational, or testimonial? Then focus on what is really asked in the cue card. It says here, a good advertisement that you think is useful. For you to develop a monologue for two minutes, you have to make sure to tell your examiner what the ad is about. For example, it's an educational ad from a government agency teaching the citizens how they can prevent themselves from uh, contracting the coronavirus. Let's say in that ad, they showed the healthy practices that people can do to protect themselves, such as washing hands properly, wearing a mask, exercising, um, taking multivitamins, and many more. And for you to extend your story, adding more details, I want you to talk about uh, the impact of that ad on your health. Um, for sure, you'll be able to develop a great story out of uh, these ideas. Easy. We have here a time when your computer broke down. Understand some of the reasons why a computer breaks down. Well, possible reasons include overheating, outdated operating systems, the storage is full, or worse, the computer gets infected by malware. I think we all have an experience or experiences in the past where our computer broke down and it negatively impacted our work. Recall that experience when you're typing on Microsoft Word and all of a sudden your computer broke down and unfortunately you missed saving that file. Or it could be you're editing a vlog or a video and because of too many files, your editing software froze and your computer suddenly broke down. Make sure to talk about your feelings and the things that you did when you experienced the problem so that you will be able to talk for two minutes. Well, this topic is actually relatable, isn't it? Next a place in your country that you think is interesting. First of all, think of some good reasons why a place in your country is really interesting. Well, most students uh, talk about a place that is touristy or a place that is visited by many tourists because of beautiful beaches, beautiful landscapes, and uh, things like that. However, I find it too common. And I'm pretty sure examiners have heard that story over and over and over again. Let's be unique and let's be creative. For example, in my reviewer, I simply talked about a certain place in our country in which 2-5% to of women are suffering from goiter. This is a condition in which the thyroid gland is enlarged because of iodine deficiency. Well, that is not a common answer, and that is intriguing. But you know what? That is not true. I am just making things up. I am doing my best to be creative. When you talk about something that is not very common, you're actually stepping up your game. You're showing your examiner that you can speak English even if the subject is difficult. Usually, our English communication skills will be tested when we start speaking creatively or when we think outside the box. Um, and if we are successful in doing that, it simply goes to show that we are confident with our English communication skills. That's what I did when I took the IELTS speaking test. Uh, that helped me get a band 9. Well, I know you're busy because of your work, so if you have no time to prepare stories or monologues for all the recent uh, cue cards, get my reviewers today so you can prepare strategically 
and wisely. My reviewers helped many students pass their IELTS speaking test. So if you're interested, just send me an email. I'll send you samples and see for yourself if you need the full version of my reviewers. Send an email today. Let's move on to a park or garden that you like. Some ideas include a botanical garden, a wildlife conservatory, a national park where you can see various trees and uh, plants that are protected by the government, and even a city park where you can enjoy walking and children can enjoy playing. If you're the kind of person who really loves animals, then talk about the wildlife park. Develop a story by talking about the origin of that park, how it all started, what animals are kept in that park, uh, what's the condition of the animals, and enumerate the reasons why you really like that park, aside from the fact that uh, you really love animals. Some very good reasons to add to your story are you like that park because the people managing that park are doing their very best to save those animals that are on the verge of extinction. You also like that park because there is community involvement. That is, they allow volunteer groups to help maintain the park. Something like that. I believe those ideas are enough for you to craft an amazing story for two minutes. Let's move on to a time you gave advice to others. Well, what are those possible pieces of advice that we can give to someone? Love advice, financial advice, career advice, or if you're a nurse, you can talk about uh, the time when you gave a piece of medical advice to someone who was ill. I think that's easy. Now, the strategy here is to connect uh, the topic to your profession or to your interest. Uh, because when you do that, you will never run out of things to say. Because uh, basically, you know your profession or you know your interest. Uh, even if you don't have any experience of giving advice to someone, when you relate this topic to your profession or to your interest, you will be able to develop a story. I mean, you can make things up uh, easily because again, it's your profession or it's your interest. Uh, for example, I'm really interested in business and finance. Uh, if I get this cue card, I'll just make things up. Uh, like I gave a piece of financial advice to my friend, which was uh, to work on his emergency funds first before investing in the stock market or in any investment tools because uh, emergency funds are what can really save him if he loses his job or if he suddenly becomes ill. I can actually talk and talk and talk about that because I'm really interested in finance and business. Uh, so the strategy here is to basically talk about something that you're really interested in because uh, you will always have uh, something to say. Next, a foreigner who speaks Chinese very well. Well, this is one of the most interesting cue cards, but actually it's not really difficult at all, in my opinion. So let us think of possible reasons why this foreign person can speak Chinese fluently. First, it could be she is married or in a relationship with a Chinese man or a Chinese national. Let us say that she spends so much time learning Chinese simply because she wants to improve her relationship with her partner who is Chinese. Because as we know, communication is an integral part of a successful marriage. She believes that when she can speak Chinese very well, you know, her relationship or her marriage with a Chinese man will surely be successful. Second, you can talk about a foreign person who works as a diplomat to China. Well, of course, when you are a representative of your country to China, you must be able to speak in their own language so that you can articulate your government sentiments, uh, interests, and other important matters to the leaders in China. 
Third, uh, you can talk about a foreign exchange student who is uh, studying in China. For example, this student is uh, from a Western or from the Western country, and she spends uh, a year or two studying Chinese language or Chinese culture. And of course, in one of the best universities in China. So pick one of these and uh, develop uh, a story out of your choice. Uh, it's easy. Another cue card that we have here is a painting that you like. Well, what type of painting do you have in mind right now? Abstract, Impressionism, Realism, Expressionism, what is it? Uh, in my reviewer, I simply talked about Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night. I created a story out of that uh, painting. Uh, I described what that painting really looked like. Uh, that is very important so the examiner could visualize uh, that painting. You know, he could imagine what that painting really looked like. And you know what? By giving descriptions to that painting, I was able to utilize my English communication skills uh, more. That is, uh, I was able to let my examiner know that my vocabulary was not limited at all. Because of course, when you give descriptions, you really need to use different uh, types of adjectives. Uh, in my reviewer, I also talked about uh, how the life of the painter depicted or portrayed in that starry night. Uh, and I also talked about the different reasons why I liked the painting more than others. Uh, being able to add important elements to your story helps you communicate more effectively. And that's what the examiner really wants from us students. Uh, if you want to know how to tell a story in part two naturally and creatively, get my latest reviewers. They're on sale at the moment. Uh, be the next uh, student who will share a success story for passing the IELTS speaking exam, just like these uh, students. Uh, our next uh, cue card is a party you enjoyed. Well, what types of parties you attended that you really enjoyed? A birthday party? It is a gift of life that needs to be celebrated. Um, a wedding party? Well, it is an honor to be part of the party because it is a union of two beautiful souls. Um, a graduation party? Well, it is a celebration of overcoming struggles. Um, well, it is a beautiful achievement. Um, what else? A Halloween party. Well, it's enjoyable because one can express his creativity by wearing a scary costume or by imitating the looks of a celebrity. So pick one of these and provide details to your examiner as to how enjoyable uh, that party was. Our next uh, cue card is a beautiful city. Well, let's talk about the things that can make a city beautiful. First, uh, it's cleanliness. Uh, a city is visually pleasing when it's clean. Uh, you can't see people throwing trash here and there. Second, uh, the transportation system is really organized. You can take uh, a bus or a train uh, any time of the day and you're not confused about uh, uh, which station are you going to go to because everything is organized. Third, the people. The people are welcoming and friendly. And more importantly, the city is beautiful because it is safe. Well, no one wants to live in a city where the crime rates are increasing or really high. Everyone wants to live in a city where they feel safe. Uh, well, these are some of the good reasons why a city can be beautiful or why a city is beautiful. Just to elaborate on each reason so that you'll be able to talk more and you'll be able to develop a two-minute monologue. You can do it. 
Before we continue, I'd like to congratulate students who achieved a band 7. Rodrigo Hakaban, band 7. Gagan Katra, band 7. Thank you for trusting my reviewers. I'm so happy for your success. If you want to know more about my techniques of how I develop monologues creatively and naturally, and how I discuss answers in part 3, get my reviewers today. Just send me an email and I'll give you samples and see for yourself how my reviewers could help you. Send an email today. Let us have a science subject you're interested in. Well, just like my advice earlier, relate the topic to your work or your interest because you will never run out of things to say. For example, if you're a nurse, talk about human anatomy or biology because you already know a lot of things about that subject because that's what you studied in uh, your university days. Eh? And now that you're working as a healthcare professional, well, you know more about that subject. So you can always talk a lot of things about that subject. Or if your interest is planting, then talk about botany or horticulture. You can talk about the various plants that you know and you cultivate at home. And to make your story longer, be creative by talking about how planting saves you from, I don't know, depression or anything like that. Uh, by doing that, uh, you'll be able to develop a story that is not boring but inspiring. That's not really difficult. Our next cue card is a time you waited for a nice thing. Well, this is a relatable topic. We have many experiences when we wait for a beautiful or a nice thing to happen in our lives. For example, uh, waiting for your graduation day, uh, waiting for the success of your visa application, or waiting for your wedding day, or waiting for your first uh, child to be born in this world. These are all good examples of uh, nice things that uh, we have to wait for. Choose one of those, then focus on developing your story on the waiting time. Tell your examiner your feelings about waiting, the challenges of waiting for that beautiful or for that nice thing to arrive in your life, and of course, the lessons that you learned from waiting. Well, I think if there's one beautiful thing that we can learn from waiting, that is the value of patience. So talk about it. Next, a time you received bad service at a restaurant or shop. So what kind of bad service did you get from a shop or a restaurant? Well, it could be giving you an incorrect order at a restaurant. That's really bad because you wasted your time waiting for your order only to be served an incorrect one. So you needed to wait again as they prepared your food. Therefore, you kept on waiting and waiting, so it's a waste of time. If I were in that situation, I think I would get headaches because of hunger, and uh, that's pretty bad. Another instance of bad service is the staff in the shop is neither accommodating nor helpful. Perhaps because he is not passionate about his job or he is not well trained to do his job. So when you create a story out of that idea, make sure to describe the exact situation in which you interacted with the staff. And to add more details to your story, talk about the things that you did in response to the bad service that you got. I think uh, that's enough uh, in order for you to develop a two-minute monologue. Let's talk about a photo that makes you feel happy. Well, it could be a family portrait. Seeing your family in one photo makes you feel so happy because it reminds you that there are people who genuinely love you or accept you for who you are. Or it could be your graduation photo. It is a photo of your success despite the struggles that you went through while studying. 
what you need to do is provide descriptions of the photo so that your examiner will be able to visualize that photo in his mind. Then uh, talk about the symbolism of that photo. Like uh, that photo is a good reminder that you can achieve whatever goals you set for yourself. You know, adding more meaning or value to your story is important, so you will not only talk about very simple things. If you want to get a higher score in your IELTS speaking exam, add more meaning or value to your answer or answers. That's the way to make use of your English communication skills well.